welcome to a week in my life. All right, we're gonna start with my skincare, so. Good morning, let's start with skin. So I always like to mist up my face before applying serums. I've been using this Lancome when it's my current fave, and then I just go in with an eye cream. This one is the brightening one from Kodali for my darker circles, some moisturizer, also Kodali, and my favorite current SPF, which is the Shiseido one. Always putting on lip liner, so this is the Sephora one in hot sauce, and just a little bit of Tarte lip balm. And for my lashes, just some Aquaphor, and it makes such a difference, and a curl, and you're ready. I did get ready for the gym, but I have to make my bed first thing in the morning before leaving for the gym. This isn't sponsored, but I have to let you guys know about these new sheets that I got. They've been making the biggest difference in my morning routine because it's so much easier to make the bed now. The duvet cover is literally connected with a zipper, so you just simply zip up your bed and it's ready. I did manage to get you guys a discount code for 15% off and it's Joanna K. Okay guys, it's morning, but I really gotta get going to the gym. Um, I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle. I put lemon in my water because it just tastes better and I drink a lot of water when there's lemon water. So my boyfriend got me this Hydro Flask. Has my initials, Jam Cage and Marie Kina. Really nailed it. Let's go to the gym. I did the 12 3 30 and it was my first time fully being able to do it I usually can't get to 30 like I usually do 20 but I pushed myself to do the 30 today because I'm okay so I'm gonna make some brunch breakfast I'm gonna make some oats these organic quick dry oats they're pretty good one fourth of a cup of oats a banana. I'm going to make one of these. This is a chicken and maple breakfast sausage. While it's warming up, I'm going to make a coffee. That's what the grind is going to look like. Like that. And then you chop cock. So I'm gonna quickly get ready. I need to take some photos for Princess Polly actually. While I'm doing my makeup, do a little chit chat with you guys. Couple of life, well not really life updates, just like little updates. I finally am filming on my new camera. I personally think that the color grading on this Canon is so much better. I'm already kind of like seeing just a difference in that, which was something that I was concerned with the Sony. I also want to apologize that I wasn't consistent on my weekly updates uploads last week i had a really busy schedule with some deadlines that i had for brands and i just did not have my weekly video go up which no excuse i really am aiming to be filming videos every week so that is a promise i made to myself for the rest of this year kind of have you guys get to know me better because you guys know me as probably somebody that does my makeup and just apparently looks perfect all the time but that is so not the case and i feel like with youtube i'm kind of able to showcase that that is not the case and i do want to be more real with you guys and kind of actually like show like the real side of me that a lot of you guys don't get to see a lot of the times with influencers they kind of show this unrealistic type of lifestyle where you just got everything for free and you get things handed to you just because of you know pretty privilege i kind of just want to not debunk it but i kind of you know want you guys to know more me and that i'm not just another you know white girl doing youtube and i really do want to use this platform to spread positivity and to 
spread things that are useful that are helpful for you guys and i think a part of that is just being real and raw with you guys and not faking things i guess i want to talk about like being in your 20s in our 20s we put a lot of pressure on ourselves because age where everyone is kind of all over the place in terms of life and their goal what they want to do with their lives i know some people that are still in school at my age and i'm 26 and i know plenty of people that are still studying and i know people that are married and i know people that are having kids at my age and then i know people that got their first job and then i know people that are you know already making six figures at my age so it's kind of like i feel like everyone is at their own pace in life and i think one thing that i really want to let you guys know because i think we're all a similar age and i think a lot of us are going through a lot of the same thing the number one thing that we gotta do as a whole is to stop comparing ourselves to everyone that we see on social media and to their successes and where they are in their their life because everyone's pace in life is so different and I do really believe that everything happens for a reason and you know some people's life path may be slower than others and you can you should never be jealous or envious of anyone say somebody's already making six figures at your age and you're kind of like still figuring out what you want to do that's okay because maybe you needed this time to figure out what you were going to do because you needed to mature, you needed to go through some things to, you know, be stronger. I do really believe that life does prepare you for things and that certain endings in life like, may seem like the end of the world. Losing some people, losing friendships, losing relationships, losing a job. All those endings in life usually happen for a reason. And they usually mean that a blessing is happening very, very soon. I kind of want to spread the message of if you're going through something right now you feel like it's the end of the world just know there definitely is a light at the end of the tunnel and like i said if you're not where you want to be in life maybe that's because there's a reason for that maybe you have to go through something in order for life to prepare you for the amazing things that are about to be in store for you so i just say keep your head up never give up on yourself never give up on your goals your ambitions the things that you love as long as you have everything right now in your life and what you want to achieve you can get there you just gotta really put in the work and put in the effort things don't come easily and even though it may seem like things come easily to others i think also another thing to keep in mind a lot of the times when people get things really fast they also tend to lose it and that's why there's a certain dignity in meaning things slowly because you really appreciate the value of it once you receive it you know what i mean so i think that's also something i really wanted to accentuate back to the topic of us comparing ourselves you are where you need to be right now i found myself struggling a lot in the past with not comparing but kind of being like i want to be here and why am i here you know what i mean i have gone through things in my life that made me a lot more mature i think that i had to go through those things in order to be who i am i guess today once i started to realize that i am where i need to be it's just kind of like changed my outlook on life it goes back to always remaining positive and not waking up in the morning and being negative i put way too much blush this one by mario it's very pigmented this blush is beautiful anyways you gotta wake up every day with gratitude you gotta wake up in the morning being thankful for everything you have i think when you do that you realize how much you actually do have and again you stop comparing yourself to people like i said a lot of those people show this amazing perfect life we all show on social media the best moments and best versions of ourselves so i really wouldn't that as an example of what your life is supposed to be when i wake up in the morning and actually think about everything that i have and everything that i was blessed with i'm like oh my god i'm the luckiest girl in the world and once you create that mindset for yourself the way you look on life is so different i used to well i still do struggle from time to time with just being negative and it definitely stems from just childhood and how i was raised i've always just kind of had a negative outlook on every any inconvenience that happens in my life now i'm trying to be more kind of aware of that and so the second that i start to kind of complain in my head i guess like where i'm like oh this is annoying i have a routine where i stop myself from doing that and i tell myself just things that i'm thankful for and things that are going right and i think that helps 
tremendous not being a negative person. I love this stuff takes a lot of practice. Started doing that this year only. I still find myself sometimes really struggling with, you know, being super, like super positive. It's definitely, it's not easy sometimes. Sometimes you really think, you know, everything is the end of the world. But I think one thing to realize is that it's really not. It's all in your head. Once you start just like being really positive about everything in your life, you are just a happier person and you're a better person to be around. God, you guys, I don't know what happened to this lash here. But this is Mac Heffron. This is YSL number 44. It's like literally the perfect lip combo. A bit of faux freckles. I need to buy that pen that everyone has, a freckle pen. Kind of like the makeup look for the photos and now i just gotta pick out an outfit from my princess polly haul that i want to use i would do that so anyways this is the finished look guys i have to go to whole foods after i'm done taking these photos and i also have to go to PetSmart because my cats ran out of food so i have a couple of like just like quick little errands i gotta do and then we're gonna cook dinner and then i'll maybe show you guys some of my nighttime routine that's kind of the plan and then tomorrow is also just a full-on work day so i did just take some content going now to whole foods and PetSmart. it's seven o'clock so i am gonna go to the supermarket real quick and get a bunch of groceries this is my grocery outfit just put on like a little little button down from polly i'm at PetSmart. i always get this brand here and I get the digestive pack and I'm gonna look now for the wet food. I always get Purina. Oh, it's this brand, the Purina Pro Plan. Hi guys, so I am on my way to Pilates. Just had an overwhelming amount of work to do. I honestly feel very exhausted. I was like, I'm gonna vlog probably my weekend. Maybe I'll show like my reset that I do for the week. And during the week, I was just straight up taking content for brand deals and I had a lot of deadlines. I only finished all those up. It's the weekend, guys, and I'm going to Pilates right now and then I'll probably do some errands. I did go to Pilates this morning. I went to reforming Pilates. I took a class with Ian. If you guys are like in Bull Harbor, Sydney Isles, like North Miami area, reforming Pilates is such a cute studio. Not even sponsored. I don't even get free classes. I like fully paid. That was like the hardest Pilates class I've taken and it's all about like slow movement. It's not fast paced at all where usually like tremble and solid core are super fast paced. Oh my god. It was so hard. My boyfriend's at golf. I usually go with him but I was just like I want to have a day to myself today. Guys it's Saturday and I feel like you can get a lot of things done on Saturday. Not necessarily for work but just like for things like in your house. I kind of have been getting tired of doing Sunday resets on Sunday so I'm thinking to do a reset today for Saturday. My workout in it's now 12. I I think I'm gonna eat some of my Pura Vida. I'm going to make a quick coffee. But yeah, that's what we have planned so far. Oh my God, the smell of fresh coffee grind is literally the best thing in the world. A lot of people always ask me when I post my coffee on my stories, like how I make it. This is how I make it. Rebel Barista Touch. Honestly, I'll have it linked for you guys. It's quite literally the best thing you've ever invested in. I use it every single day. I have not been able to have Starbucks after getting this machine. I use these beans. They're from Wall's Coffee. How beautiful that is right there. This is like a perfect shot. You can always tell it's a perfect shot when there's three layers of colors. It's the dairy creamer from honest goodness this one has no gums in it and no fillers and it's like very natural so i really like it for the sweet cream on top wow like i wish that i can give this to you guys so you can try it i ordered the avocado toast from pira Vida and i got a side of eggs in the side with salmon so just put one for now some salmon it's so expensive start cleaning and just doing my little reset i just did a quick like hairstyle um, for dirty hair it's cute i'm gonna take out the sheets i just put all the sheets in the laundry first thing i do usually is vacuum the entire apartment
wearing a white body and cargo pants. These have been my favorite lately. They're from Hudson Jean. Focus. <laughs> yeah, my makeup is just like really natural and then there's the full outfit. So let's go. Grab some dinner, we're gonna grab steak. And we might have some friends over, well, I say might because our friends are very flaky. We'll see. Said they're gonna come over today, so. Yeah. Oh, it's like this pretty much every day of June. It starts out kind of sunny in the mornings and then it just turns into this gray, foggy, gloomy weather. Oh my god. Look how big she got. She's 16 now, followed me since like 2015. You guys remember when she was a baby? Okay, guys, Sunday brunch. <laughs> Hi, it's Nina and Alex. Cheers. So good. Class is at 7.20. I thankfully live like two minutes away from this class. And I have been like kind of getting back into my workout grind this last two weeks, I would say. And I do feel like more productive when I do start my day by working out. Because I am going to go get lip filler today at 11. I might get Botox depending on what they say. Last time I got Botox, I did feel like my eyebrows drooped a little. Yeah, and I do preventative Botox by the way, guys. So it's like a very low, low, like micro dose. And the berries. The class is literally in five minutes. So let's get this day started. I just freshly like did my hair last night. So hopefully it doesn't get ruined. <laughs> Hey guys, it's now 10.30. I did come back from my workout class earlier today and I'm back to doing my hair because I just didn't think it through yesterday when I was doing the sock method. Like maybe it's not a good idea to do it before um, working out, but that's okay because my hair looked so good you guys this morning and then the blowout kind of went away doesn't look bad but it's not as good as it looked this morning but i think i'm gonna sleep in the socks again tonight but honestly it is cute i'm going to get my lip filler so i usually do this like twice a year every six months i go to the beauty clinic in aventura also might get botox depending really don't mind sharing that i do to myself because i think that why hide like lip filler is something everyone does nowadays so we're just gonna share that journey today sorry if i'm so slow i just i woke up so early today for that morning workout which i've gotten kind of back into getting into berries because i did re-sign up for class pass i'm gonna do like a slight contour i also love the brush and it like just gives a really nice contour i just wanted to be a little bit more active this month because i don't know why sometimes in the summer i get lazy it's always like a cycle i go through phases with working out and like it's just always been that way for me i'm gonna put on a little bit of this makeup by mario rose crush i really like it i always get influenced by freaking tiktok to buy all these things here i am putting socks in my hair because of tiktok there's just so many things you learn and i think it's great that we have like just so much information i feel like i'm doing everything so opposite today i love you guys this concealer from rare beauty it's light and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything i also like to like look put together for when i go to my lip filler because see the whole effect of it when you get out it is uncomfortable getting it done like it's not a pleasant feeling yeah not looking forward to that last time i got it done was november and like i said i usually try to do every six months it's been like eight so it's definitely time for me to get back on it I'm also getting my hair done this week. I do want to cut my bangs a little more. I feel like I miss having the curtain bangs. And a little lip liner. 
is the makeup for ever it's anywhere caffeine you haven't heard about the candy glaze from ysl you guys have to be living under a rock because this product's amazing so we are ready to go what time is it yeah i definitely gonna go so catch you guys over there when i'm getting the lip filler in this lighting you guys can kind of see the before there's obviously plump like i don't have small lips but i just want them a little more plump like that little extra oomph. yeah i'll take you guys along straight after she always does such a natural job like it's so good i go to nurse nikki at the beauty clinic and i highly recommend we also did a little bit of preventative and i told her my concerns about the eyebrows and she really listened to me and explained everything and she put a little more in the end so that doesn't happen so i am obsessed this looks so good straight after they look so good i am going to take some photos for revolve right now it's later on in the day and I just got my lips filled today. I showed you guys earlier. They're really, really swollen now. You can really tell now that they're like done because they're really swollen. I kind of like the swollen look. I'm kind of like, hmm. No, it might be honestly a little much, but they look so good. Like so, so good. Shout out to Nurse Nikki because fire. I wanted to do a car chit chat with you guys and kind of open up to you guys about a couple of things I feel like I don't open up often on here. You guys only see like surface level things But the past week I've been really reflecting on like just the way that I was raised and stuff And I feel like not a lot of you guys know this but I am half Turkish and half Ukrainian and my dad's side is Turkish for the longest time I feel like I've had like a little bit of an identity crisis I have this mixture and I've always been more in tune with my Ukrainian side because obviously my parents divorced when I was little I was raising my mom and she's Ukrainian so I speak Russian I know everything about Ukrainian culture all the dishes and the food the sayings and things are with like Ukrainian people I always felt very lost in the sense of I know that I look more more Turkish than I look Ukrainian. Every time people see me and I tell them that I'm half Turkish or like that explains so much, you look so Turkish. I look just like my dad. Always had this identity crisis because I've never really known my dad. He is in my life. He calls me, he texts me from time to time. We're very distant because he has another family in New York. That family chose a way of like basically that family not knowing who I was, is that he had a daughter before that family. It's like a whole thing. Because of that, I never got to be really involved in his life because he was kind of hiding this part of him. I never really got to hang out with him family-wise because like if I was to hang out with him, I'd be like, he would fly down here and we would go grab lunch, but I never really got to know the Turkish side of my family. I never got to, you know, really get close to my uncles, my cousins, stuff like that because of my dad. So I do carry that kind of, not resentment, but just that sucks because I feel I probably resonate with a lot of Turkish things because I am half Turkish. It's sad to know that that was taken from me because of the decisions of my dad and that I could have known more about Turkish culture and more about what that's like. Growing up in America, in the United States, I have to say that I did always look different than everyone. I didn't love that about myself when I was younger. Obviously now, I, I love all my dark features. People always tell me like that's what makes me super unique and everything like that. But when I was growing up, I always looked different than everyone. I would tell people like my dad is Turkish and people would automatically assume because I guess a lot of people in America unfortunately are just not educated. They would just assume that like because people from Turkey, a large majority of them are Muslim but they're like terrorists and because of after what 9-11 happened and I was living in New York where that happened at that time so it was very close in proximity of like 9-11 happened and so when I would tell people that I'm half Turkish they would be like they would make fun of me they'd be like oh like that's like a terrorist country it would just like be very put down where it's like also people don't even know how Turkey is such a mixed and diverse population and I was always hiding that part of myself of being half turkish because of just 
how America, like growing up, believed that of me. Like it would, it would, it wasn't seen as like a good thing to be half Turkish, and I never embraced it. So when people would ask me, "Where are you from?" I would be like, "Oh, I'm Ukrainian." Like my my mom's from Ukraine, and sometimes people would be like, "Really? You don't like you don't really look that Ukrainian?" Like, and then I'd be like, "Oh, I'm half Turkish." But I, I would always hide that identity of me. After visiting Turkey back in 2020, I fell in love with the country, genuinely. There is just such an energy there by the Bosphorus. I just experienced such joy when I visited Turkey and I experienced, I felt like free and I felt, I just felt very liberated and I felt very welcome by everyone there. Everyone accepted me there because I, you know, I look Turkish and it was, it was, I just felt like at home essentially. I, I got to meet all my cousins, I got to meet my grandma, my dad side before she died. I could have known my grandma if my dad didn't hide, didn't, if he did things a little bit differently. I don't blame him and I'm not like oh like my dad's such an ass I forgive him but because of his decision to kind of keep me away from his new family and because he had to keep his time with me so minimal because he had this other family that he was basically hiding that he had another daughter because of that I didn't get to explore that Turkish side of me and explore my origins and and where I'm from essentially and you know your body always knows and feels when it's at home I didn't feel that when I went to Ukraine because I visited Ukraine before obviously now it's impossible because of what's going on I visited when I was little and I didn't feel the same thing that I felt when I visited Turkey when I visited Turkey I felt a real love for all the people there I felt at home and it's because I'm gonna start crying. It's because like it's it's a part of me, and that part of me was never spoken about because my parents divorced. So so essentially, where I was going with this is that I always I was never like showing off that I was half Turkish, anything like that, because like I said of how Americans perceive Turkish people that all, you know, there was a little bit of racism. I, I remember when I was little, like, just, you know how little kids are, and they'd be like, oh, so you're from Turkey, like the, the, the chicken Turkey? No, like, Turkey the country. There's a little bit of racism, and I just kind of hit it, I felt ashamed. So when I would tell people I'm Ukrainian, they would think that's really, really cool, and they would think, like, that's so exotic and cool, but they wouldn't think it's cool, and I would say I'm half Turkish, because of misconception about the Muslims, you know? Being Muslim does not mean you're a terrorist, you know what I mean? Turkey is also not only Muslim, they're also Christian, they're Catholic, there are so many religions, there are so many mixtures. People don't know that Turkey is on the border with Europe, with Asia, there's a lot of Greek mixes. People don't know what they're talking about. America people are very just, they're not educated. And so I would always hide that part of me. I want to mention how I got so many subscribers and followers back in like 2015, 2016. When because I have the dark Middle Eastern, even though Turkey's not Middle Eastern, but like kind of like a Middle Eastern look, I had a, I got a lot of attention from like Saudi Arabia and Muslim cultures and countries. Back then, I was always just hiding it and ashamed of it because people would make fun of me. They're like, oh, you know, you have all of the like Arab commenting on your photos and people were just so racist. And I'm like, dude, what is wrong with being Arab? Saudi Arabia, probably one of the safest countries in the world. You know, I think that just Americans, they, they associate up being Muslim being, and it's it's sad. And so I remember back then, I, I didn't even appreciate like all the love that I was getting from these countries because I was raised as an American and I was kind of just like, I don't want, you know, people to make fun of me. I don't want people to make fun of me that I only have Arabic followers. I feel very sad that when I visited Turkey in 2020 that changed everything and you know even now I'm kind of always feeling that longing of like going to Turkey I want to go back to Turkey I want to I want to spend more time there because I fell in love with the country and and I want to know more about my culture that's why I've been asking you guys like send me some Turkish shows because I feel like you learn a lot through watching foreign shows you learn a lot about the culture of a country and basic things about you know how life is over there cultural stuff that I never knew about that Turkish side of me and I've just been really enjoying watching Turkish shows like so dramatic they're so interesting everyone is just so classy I love it I love the culture and I feel like also people are very warm and welcoming and I love that I remember still to this day when I went to Turkey and people were so warm and welcoming and they were just inviting you giving you wanting you to have tea like at no burden
important. It's not because, like, you know how the shops, they have the shops and they want you to buy, but you don't have to buy something. They, they genuinely want to give you some tea. And it's just, like, the culture is so warm. And I remember, like, I had my, my relatives that lived in Eskashir. They, like, drove down three hours to come pick me up from Eskashir from, to Istanbul, where I was at. And I just felt so uncomfortable because I was like, that would never happen in America. Like, my sister can't even pick me up from the airport that's 20 minutes away. And I have my family that I've never met willing to drive three hours to come pick me up from Istanbul so that I don't, you know, take a taxi for three hours. They drove three hours there, three hours back. Like, that's two ways for them. And I'm just like, the culture is so different. They didn't let me pay for anything. They didn't let me do anything. They took me everywhere, got me a place to stay. They were just such warm, kind-hearted people. And I was basically like a stranger to them because, yeah, I'm the daughter of their brother because I was meeting my uncles. and But they didn't know me. Like, they didn't know me for 24 years. And they treated me. I'm, you know, their closest family member. And it was just so warm and welcoming anyways where am i going with this i'm just like giving you guys a background i am trying now to learn you know i want to learn more about turkey and like that side of me i really am drawn to it and that a lot of my roots come from there for a reason and who knows maybe one day I'll, one day i'll live in turkey who knows you never know what can happen in this life i i really just wanted to be honest with you guys and like open up about this because i feel like a lot of guys just don't know that about me and because i was like living Living in America and dealing with the racism and dealing with the people that think any Muslim country is like terrorists. Like people here, you know, they're really, like I said, ignorant is the right word I would say. Yeah, they're very ignorant. And so it is a beautiful country. Turkey has beautiful people. I'm looking at the actors on the shows and I'm like, you guys are stunning. There's just so much culture, so much diversity there. I'm really sad that I missed a huge part of that growing up but I don't think it's ever too late and I'm 26 now and at least I'm realizing that now and I'm realizing how important it is to get in touch with my roots that's why I'm like guys <laughs> comment down below actually now also because I I am watching black money love right now and I'm actually obsessed I'm like so deep into it because it's on Netflix and it's easy and a lot of these Turkish shows with like that actor Handi, actress Handi that I'm trying like everyone's like watch this show with Handi in it because she's like the most one of the most famous Turkish actresses but None of her shows are on Netflix or on streaming. Like I have to watch them on my computer. Some of them don't have English subtitles, so it's hard to find where to watch that. But if you guys know where I could watch that, then let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations of something that is streaming on like Netflix, Hulu, on I have Peacock, I have yeah, those three. So if you know anything on those, let me know. But they do have Black Money Love, so I'm watching that. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with actors. I'm obsessed with just like the cultural things and just knowing like even about learning the language and like the, the mom and the and the Sydney Sydney and like only these words that I never knew before I didn't even know how to say hello in Turkish it's just so sad because I'm literally 50% Turkish I really went into a deep dive here but yeah if you guys have any Turkish show recommendations that would be useful for me definitely comment down below I am just going to be you know studying more turkish culture and getting in tune with it and i also want to have another trip to turkey soon i like feel it like i need to go i was honestly like genuinely when i went out in 2020 i was in love with the country and i don't know what it was it was just like my body knew like my body and soul knew it was at home at home now i have to finish editing a video and then i'm gonna cook some dinner oh so i'll see if i vlog that but i feel like today's probably gonna be the last day of vlogging we'll see like, i'm gonna just record dinner i'm making gnocchi cheese with tomato sauce and olive oil garlic and tomato paste got these gnocchi cheese they're like healthy gnocchi cheese they're gnocchi cheese made out of sweet potato they're like the best thing we've ever tried now i'm gonna add in tomatoes one fourth of a cup of bone broth buy some fresh parmesan you guys my lips hurt so bad they're like so swollen from the filler today half a cup of parmesan we're gonna put this at the end on top of the no just put them in the boiling water in there you know cheese olipop stick these more cheese are so far Hey guys, so I'm coming back to you guys next day. I told you guys I would vlog a little bit because I did get my hair done. And I got like a little bit of bangs cut just because I've been like kind of wanting bangs and I love them so much. I got my hair trimmed a little bit and just added more layers and I'm obsessed. Such a good look. I drive really far down to get my hair done so I gotta get going to get home. I feel like I'm gonna be editing this vlog today. So my filler settled down a lot. 
so it's not as crazy anymore. This is like the result after a couple, well, it's been two days. I am gonna go now to get home, and oh my god, the lady where I go, she got me a panini, which was honestly so sweet. I'm just like, thank you so much. And I have to edit this vlog. I do ideally kind of want it to go live tomorrow, so honestly, my upload schedule right now is kind of all over the place. I will keep you guys updated on get home, going home because I'm so hungry and I just want to eat at home. I don't want to eat in the car. Um, but what do we think of the bangs? Do we like them? I really, really like them. I think I'm going to do it. Get them cut like every month. They're fresh, but hair is done. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was really long. I enjoyed this week in my life with my new camera. I love this new camera, you guys. It's so much better. But anyways, you guys, I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!